Here's your motivation to start taking your own photos by yourself. Hey, it's Nita. I'm here in my high rise and I'm here to just give you some motivation to start taking your own photos because that's what I do. I actually kept myself from getting photos taken from other photographers for the sake of pushing myself to learn how to take my own content. It just only made me a better photographer taking my own photos. Like, yes, there is some limitations to it, but hey, at the end of the day, I know I got me, especially when I am traveling. Before I try to convince you to start taking your own photos when you're traveling, I think you should start at home first and go from there. Practice makes perfect. So I divided this into categories to, to help you understand, you know, the order of the importance. And if you want to skip ahead, you can. The independence in general not for the sake of not needing anybody, but for the sake of what if someone's not there to help you when you need it. I started this when I went on my own trips and I got my handy dandy tripod and my handy dandy Bluetooth clicker and I just went at it. Like I just started taking my own photos because I just want to go by myself and on my own. But guess what? I, I realized I needed someone to take my photos, but heck. Half the time that we get other people to take our own photos, we it's like a, a hit or miss. Like, you might like it, but then you may not. Ah, no, 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 no. I like to be in control of some things in my life, and one of those things was having really good photos. So the only way to get really good is to practice and keep doing it to get better at it. At the end of the day, especially on social media, I needed something to, you know, show that I had a good time here or I had a good time there or just memories for myself to be like, oh, I love this. I went there and went here and I loved it. And also seeing other people inspired me when they took their own photos for their own solo trips and were getting paid for. I was like, if they're doing all this, why can't I just do this myself? Sure enough. I just think it's so important for people to have their own content when they need their own content and not always relying on other people to help them with their content. Practice makes perfect, so start at your own home or outside of your home. So I actually started taking my own photos without a tripod and just like set my phone up everywhere that I was going and that became annoying. And then I did some research about YouTube solo travelers when I realized I was going to do a trip by myself they actually use this really like a really good tripod that was sturdy at the end of the day my tripod I actually have right here um it's really sturdy very thick it's not flimsy you know it's not like you could blow you know fly, fly off like i highly recommend getting a sturdy one i got mines on amazon so it's it's one of those two that's like this i couldn't find another one on amazon that didn't have the thing in between I don't have that, but I think there are some that are like that. Dude, if you can find something that looks like this, I highly recommend getting that. It even has like the little thing on it too to clip your phone in. So I use this tripod. I also use a Bluetooth clicker. And this is what I use. You could just get these on Amazon. They're like five bucks. Not too expensive. And I just use it anytime when I'm like taking my own photos and I hide it when I'm doing my own photos and whatnot. Just make it just makes it so much quicker and so much easier. I, the time thingy on the phone, bump it. Like I cannot even. I actually went to LA one time and forgot my Bluetooth clicker. I want to cry, and I had to use a timer, and it sucks because going back and forth was hell. So I do recommend Bluetooth clicker, tripod. It's all you really need, and a phone. Hello, you need two phones? No, I was not having two phones when I first started taking my own photos. It was just one phone. That's all I needed. I know everyone's main concern when it comes to getting your photos taken is, is the people watching. Oh my goodness. So I'm not gonna lie, I get I got nervous a lot when I would take my own photos anywhere and afraid people were watching. It honestly depends on the environment that you're in. I were back in my hometown in Cincinnati, Ohio, where it's not entertainment lifelike or people aren't really doing that as the norm and you're probably getting laughed at. You're just gonna have to suck it up and just do it anyways. Who cares? Because at the end of the day, content is important. The biggest thing that I've ever done was doing my own photos in Times Square, New York, by myself, with my tripod and my Bluetooth clicker. I'm pretty sure I got laughed at and people were just rolling their eyes, but did I care? No. And that video is the living proof of me doing my most badass moment by taking my own content, not caring what people think, 
and I had some really good photos. It was worth it. It's always worth it because I provided my own content and they were awesome. It, I got exactly what I wanted. And I took a trillion photos and there was like maybe 30 good ones, <laughs> but it worked out. When I see that, I'm proud of myself. I'm just like, yes, Nita, because you got some good content at the end of the day. Now, there's ways you can go about it where there's not a lot of people. New York was impossible, but I went to New Orleans as well, and I took my own photos there. And I went early in the morning where there was less tourists going on, and, and that worked out perfectly. Like It was like nobody was there but just me. It was awesome, and it worked out. And so you can go super early at a place, get up early to take photos, or you can just do it whenever time. It's just up to you. Some of the places that I've gone to we were just not as many people. So I got lucky in certain areas. But, dude, New York, I just like, look, I don't care. I don't care if I'm getting looked at. I need content. And it worked. <laughs> I was in San Jose. And it was one of the malls there. It was like an outdoor mall. Very fancy, rich, kind of like. And I'm not going to lie. I had a cop, two cops come up to me and say, Hey, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just taking pictures of myself. And they were like, okay, we're just making sure you're not taking videos of like H&M or certain properties. I was like, okay. And then it did say like, well, you're going to have to hurry this up a little bit and move on. You know, because I guess I was like disturbing people or guests. I don't know. But, you know, that's like, I still didn't get in trouble or anything for it. So I just carry on about my day. Like sometimes that might happen. And if someone says something, like just move along. There's tons of other spots to take photos at whatever i know you're probably thinking like okay but how do i shoot shoot good content for my phone so when i take photos of myself i normally i normally just use the camera mode already by itself and then i switch it to reverse to me so i can see myself majority of the time depending sometimes i do it where it's reverse where i can see myself i shoot in portrait mode for professional looks now, if I'm like wanting more of the background landscape, I'll shoot it in photo mode. But I sometimes normally shoot where obviously the front camera is being used instead for higher quality purposes. Majority of my photos when I was in New York, they were front camera. So I didn't really use that. I normally use the rear camera when I'm at home, just so I can see myself sometimes. But majority of the time I do use the front camera and it's a little harder sometimes because you don't see yourself. But I just hope for the best. Snap, snap away. They're bound to be good ones in there. <laughs> but for higher quality, I do recommend using this, to be honest. But I did for majority of my shoots for that high quality professional look. Front camera all the way. Portrait mode. And I'll mess around with 1x or 2x when I'm shooting whatever sometimes i'll place my keys on the ground so i know where to go when i'm shooting last but not least love yourself just take your own sometimes if, especially if you're by yourself just take your own they're they're bound to turn out great based off of how you angle the the tripod or position your phone like and 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 if you feel like i don't have a tripod just yet just practice placing it in certain areas in either your home or when you're on about place just too much for struggle just get a tripod they're not too expensive. That's what I've used. At the end of the day, I always love my photos when I take my own photos of myself. I take like probably like 300 and only like 20 maybe. It's so, it feels good to just take your own photos in general because it's just another way of loving yourself because you're loving you, the way you look, your vibe. And it always makes me feel good when I take my photos and I end up hearting the ones that I really like of myself. You know, it always makes my day, it makes me feel good inside. It's, I, I, I don't crap on anybody who takes their own selfies occasionally all the time. Like, dude, just do it. Yeah, it, you're only going to have this look and this image of yourself for so long. And then you're going to get older. And it's going to change. <laughs> so why not take advantage of taking as many photos of yourself, of who you are right now, and your current state? That's how I see it. I never regret saying that oh i took too many photos i didn't get to enjoy the real experience sometimes i get more of the experience taking my own photos when i'm at a place and seeing the result of the place and me and loving the two that's how i felt about my new orleans photos it, those were dope and i felt like i got so much out of it you know so much growth out of it it's like the photo and me and then the personal development behind it is like combined it <laughs> in all three <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but that's just what it looks like when i see my new york photos and everything i went through when i was in new york <laughs> like 
it's all summed up in those photos. So it, it makes me happy to see those photos and realize all that I've done and it's all combined it in those photos. I hope you are motivated now to get your own photos when you travel by yourself or when you're just out by yourself. I don't always have to rely on other people to get really good content. It's what I do. I'm glad I don't have to rely on other people. I don't have to, I didn't get a degree in photography to take really good photos of myself. So maybe you can do the same for yourself. You know, you only know you, you only like what you like. I think this is worth it. <laughs> And I will continue taking my own photos. It feels good to be like, yeah, I know if I go anywhere, I know I'm going to get some good content at the end of the day. <laughs> I hope this is a good encouragement, motivation for you to take your own content, take your own photos. Again, if you like my video and you have something to say about taking good photos or got questions, leave it in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share it to your friends if they need some motivation to take their own photos no matter where they go. Don't be afraid of getting looked at or judged. Like, who cares? Seriously, I don't care. When I see my good photos, I definitely don't care. <laughs> Everyone's got, got something to say, whatever. At the end of the day, you're the one with the badass content. So I hope this was motivation. <laughs> I hope you guys watch my other videos. I'm going to be posting more once a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.